hello 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 my people welcome to my channel and if you are new to my channel you're welcome my name is Joyce Benita the diva chef herself so what I usually do on my channel is I always listen to my followers and my subscribers whatever they ask for I try as much as possible to do it um, the last tutorial I had was on hair treatment, hair loss treatment using guava leaf. Guava leaf is not the only um, natural um, material we can use to for our hair treatment. We have a lot. We have onion, we have aloe vera, we have canel oil, which I combined with the guava leaf during the last tutorial. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description box for uh, that tutorial if you so wish to watch it and also how you can get my delicious 100% pack oil for your hair be it natural hair, dreadlocks, even permed hair it's also good for your body, it's good for your babies especially for newborn mothers, postpartum mothers you must have pack oil in your house and do not just get ordinary or any pantano oil you get from anywhere. Make sure it is 100% pure. Because you are using it on a baby. And delicious pantano oil is 100% pure pantano. I have my aloe vera that I got from my garden. What I'm going to do now, you can see the juice already dripping out. I'm not going to use it yet. I'm going to soak it in water to get out the iodine. I'll soak it overnight in water to get out the iodine. Now, when you get, you can either buy aloe vera or plants. If you want plant a little aloe vera, they are good to go. They sprout like something else. So all we're going to do is be very mindful of these spikes. They are pretty sharp. Be mindful of the spikes that are pretty pretty sharp so um, first and foremost we are going to get rid of this external core but even this external core also has is also loaded but for, for this tutorial we're not going to make use of the external core you can use it to make your soap it's great for your face if you have um, burns on your body your hands especially these are usual kitchen accidents when we are frying or we want to make use of hot water and it's pills on our body and get scalded and all that. The first aid treatment for bones is not water. The best is some say eggs. If you have aloe vera in my kitchen I have an aloe vera plant. The tiny little teeny weeny bit aloe vera plant in my kitchen that I use. So um, because accidents in the kitchen is uh, always happens except you don't cook. Okay so I'm going to this is water this is just tap water so I'm going to soak this overnight like I said to get out the iodine some people make use of it straight away but I'm not going to do that I'm going to get out the iodine first and foremost and I leave it overnight then I would proceed to make my aloe vera hair treatment tutorial for us to see please remember to like subscribe share 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 tell people about us and encourage our growth in our industry thank you so much also follow me on facebook joyce benitia davis kitchen on instagram tiktok on the score that diva chef can you follow me on all those platforms because I have loads and loads and loads of tutorials that would help you. I'm a teacher, I have a master's degree in education, so I've transferred though I've retired from active teaching, but now I'm using my, my experience as a teacher because once a teacher, I was a teacher. I'm using my experience as a teacher to teach people about how we can make use of gifts from nature that are found around us that would we ordinarily look down on. For instance, aloe vera, for instance, guava leaf, for instance, turmeric, ginger, onion, all these things are found around us. And you don't need to break a band, the band to get them. 
so on that note i would say watch and enjoy the tutorial and come back again Tada! my next cut into strips and like i said earlier be careful with the spike Spikes here and the core. Now, what you want to do is get off. Get out the glue part. This is not useless. It's actually still very useful, but this is what we need today. This is the aloe vera gel. You know, I have an auntie that is close to 80 that doesn't wear recommended glasses. And she told me the day she came and she saw me with recommended glasses. And she's like, Why are you wearing glasses? Don't you have aloe vera in the house? And I'm like, Mama, mm, how did you do that? And she said she was going to teach me. Well, I. I haven't learned that yet. I'm not advising anybody to go and put aloe vera directly into their eyes because she didn't tell me to just put it directly. There are certain steps and preparation you have to make. So I think I will go back to my aunt and ask her the steps and how to make use of them. So this is a gooey part and this is what we have, we need for our hair. Yes, I still have some green particles, so by the time I'm done blending, I'm going to see everything. And this is the skin that we got out of it. This is not useless, we still can use this. I use this for your scrub, official scrub. I'm going to do a tutorial on making use of aloe vera skin and um, oats. To make facial scrub but for today's tutorial let's move on we're going to get a blender put it in a bit of water particles as it is here now it has particles you can see them but once you start seeing them you see them now now if you apply this directly to your hair your hair is going to get all flaky it's going to clog up your hair it's 
you really need to get this out. the way the goo is just coming out so you can see what the residues here Imagine having this in your hair to see as if you rub your hair with starch. Now for our face scrub, I'm going to use two packs of coconuts. White oats. So here we are, my aloe vera spray for my hair, for hair growth, as well as my facial scrub, aloe vera and oat facial mask stroke scrub. So you get your spray bottle, I'm using my body, mask, body spray bottle, you can use any spray bottle, try it. Get your formula and pour. Voila.
break away. 